Welcome back. This is going to be a quick tutorial where I'm going to share with you on the right side of my face the Too Faced chocolate bar and on the left one my Mary Kay eyeshadows. This was one of the most requested videos to kind of recreate the looks that I've been using with the chocolate bar and do them with Mary Kay eyeshadows. So in this video I'm going to go over one of the, my favorite combinations with the Too Faced chocolate bar but using Mary Kay eyeshadows so you can see kind of how they compare side by side. So if you're interested in knowing how to achieve this look either with the Too Faced chocolate bar or with the Mary Kay eyeshadows, then just keep watching. So I want to give you this close up to show you how they look exactly the same. I just want to share with you how I did it, not only the shades, but also the technique. So I'm gonna start by priming my eyelids and for this I'm using the Pixie Correction Concentrate with a brush and I'm applying it from the lash line to the brow bone. Just make sure that uh, you find something that it will cancel the darkness on your lid if you have any and whatever you have, a concealer or a paint pot whatever will work for this look and then I went over with my fingers just to make sure that everything is well blended then to set that I am using the color white chocolate on the Too Faced side with this big brush by Real Techniques on the other side I just turn around the same brush and I use the color white lily to do the same thing and set that concealer now to start adding a little bit of color and as a transition shade I'm using the color Color, salted caramel now this is very uh, it's it kicks up a lot of powder it's not that it's chalky it's very creamy but it's very powdery so I'm applying this color in layers and I'm applying it into the crease and also a little bit above just to make sure that it works as well as my transition color then I'm showing you that I have two brushes the 203 brush and I'm going to use separate brushes for different sides now on the other side I'm using the clean brush with the color silky caramel this one is not as creamy or as powdery as the salted caramel color so I have to build up this color of course this is going to be to your liking if you like something a little bit more I don't know soft you can totally do that but in order to get it to the same color as the other eye in this case for this specific look then I had to build it up maybe do four layers instead of two like I did on the other side then I'm going to move on to the crease color which is going to be the color milk chocolate this is a neutral and I'm using once again the brush that I'm using on the Too Faced side which is the same one the 203 and applying that color into the crease or where the eye folds on the Mary Kay side with the other brush I am taking the color hazelnut and I'm applying it in the same way into the crease and also a little bit into the outer corner whatever is left on the brush to start creating a little bit more depth and help blending the darker color that I'm going to apply into the outer corner then I'm going to take the color cherry cordial which is a warm brown with a reddish undertone but it does have shimmer so what I did is pick up quite a bit of this eyeshadow then tap it in, in you know, my desk and just make sure that I get rid of all the glitter that it has and all the shimmer that this eyeshadow has because I wanted something matte so I did that and apply it also into the outer corner just to create a little bit more depth and that is going to be the main draw for this look now on the other side I don't have to do that because I'm using the color cinnabar which is a matte eyeshadows as you can see they have different finishes but if you follow the technique you can see how you can achieve the same result so I started to use this in layers as well just to make sure that I don't have to do a lot of blending and I'm using the same brush that I was using on the Mary Kay side the 203 by Real Techniques then I am cleaning the outer edges of the look just to make sure that I don't have any sloppiness into the area and then I'm going to blend on the Too Faced side with the color white chocolate and just to make sure that I do it with a crease brush I'm also highlighting the brow bone with the same color then on the Mary Kay side I'm using the color white lily and with the same brush that I kind of clean in um, a little something that I had there 
paper and um, I applied that same color. Now I am using the color Sweet Cream in the inner corner. This is by Mary Kay and this is a beautiful yellow tone eyeshadow that I don't have in the Too Faced chocolate bar so of course I had to use it on both sides and I love that eyeshadow and I love to use it with this combination of shadows. Then I went back with just the same blending brush that I was using throughout this video and make sure that I blended very well the outer corner just to make sure that I don't see any harsh lines. Just to make sure I went over the lines uh, into the crease area and the darker shades with a clean blending brush, nothing in here so I don't mind using the same brush on both sides. So after that I am going to line my lash line and I'm doing a very thin line because I have small eyes and if I do and short lashes and if I do something very thick and my lashes won't show so for that reason I did a very thin line and then I applied a couple of coats of mascara so whatever mascara you love just make sure that it's something that it will keep your curl all day long and as you can see uh, at the end of the this look the mascara is really important and gives an extra something even though this is an all matte um, kind of look and you may think that it's boring it's just it's beautiful the combination the lashes the thin line is something that it really works then I put a little bit of milk chocolate into the um, lower lash line and then on the other side I use the color hazelnut then I apply a little bit more mascara in the lower lashes just to make sure that I define them without applying too much basically that is the final look as you can see it may take you different layers amount of layers of the same eyeshadow it may take you know tapping the brush if it's shimmery whatever you have to do but as you can see you can achieve the same result so this is just to give you an idea on how you can recreate this look and if you don't have the Too Faced chocolate bar you can use your Mary Kay eyeshadows or if you don't have your Mary Kay eyeshadows you can use the chocolate bar and achieve this look that I do really like and it may not have glitter or shimmer or anything but for me this is the perfect combination of eyeshadows so I hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this kind of comparison between two different brands and I will see you on my next video bye guys so thank you so much for watching this video if you're new remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new videos monday through fridays thanks so much once again and i will see you on my next video i hope you like it only you and